Les from Thailand. Today's video, I'm going to do a little wander about my wife's farm. And we've been together now for five years, and I'm going to show you some of the improvements that I've done over the past five years whilst we've been together. Now, Ploy's farm is up in Karat, and we live down in Rayong, so we spend our time between Rayong and Karat. And when we come back home here, up here for a, a minimum of a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks at a time. So therefore, it, it's a comfortable house to live in, but like all houses, it needs a bit of maintenance and a bit of improvement. So I would say my wife's house is 90% finished and I'm just finishing off the other, other 10%. So we'll go through. So first of all, here's a picture of my wife's house before any improvements were done whatsoever. And one of the, the first improvements that we did, because the, the car being out in the baking sun all day, wow, that, that really, really heats the inside of the car up. So we've built a lean-to on the side of the house, carport, so therefore that keeps the car shaded and we can store bits and pieces underneath there as well. But the added bonus to it is that it shades all that side of the wall from the sun, so therefore it helps to stop the house from heating up so it doesn't heat all the wall up to, to transfer that heat into the house. And then one of the other things we did, you'll see in the photograph, is insulate the roof. And what a difference that made. As you can see, it's quite a large area that we insulated. And again, that was um, cavity bats covered in silver foil, so that reflects any heat back into the, into the loft area and it stops the transient heat from transferring from the loft into the room and warming the, the house up. That makes a massive difference. If it's the first thing you're going to do in a house that isn't insulated, put the insulation in, that makes a huge difference. And then in what's going to be the kitchen area, we've um, put a false ceiling in, we put the foil reflector on the, on the beams on the roof, and that reflects the, the heat also back through the roof tiles. And the, because there's a two inch gap, it allows an airflow, and that diverts all of that hot air upwards and out of the house. Again, that makes such a difference by putting that foil up and then we plasterboard the ceiling. I've still got to patch it up and plaster it and paint it so then it'll be finished. But as you can see, we put some new light fittings up there as well. And we also put the roofs in the, in the toilet and the bathroom area. And again, that just makes a huge, huge difference putting that silver foil reflective stuff on because it reflects the heat upwards and it doesn't let that transient heat come through the roof and warm the rest of your house up. That is one of the biggest money saving tips I would say to be able to keep your house cool is put the insulation in or the reflective foil. And as you can see again, photograph, we, we put a 2000 litre water tank in there because we're running off the mains water mains and every now and then the water main stops and if, if everybody's using the water mains on an afternoon or even early evening time the water pressure is very very poor so we put a new tank in and a, and a pump so we had 2000 litres of water all the time so so the wife or the mother-in-law can do the washing without fear of running out of water it makes such a difference again for not a lot of cost um, I think 12, 15,000 baht all together for the water tank and the pump and all the pipe work to be able to do it. The father-in-law made the plinth for it to sit on and I did all the pipe work which has been altered because the father-in-law has put another pipe work but that's another story. But yes, it can be done. And one of the other things that we did, you'll see by the drone footage, we, we put, we made a lake for Ploy's mum and dad. They have some land straight at the back of our houses and then they the grow their own rice from there. But <clears throat> that first field was always um, laid siege to all the local chickens. If they grew rice there, the chickens were always helping themselves to the rice and it was never really a good field at the back of the houses to be able to, to grow rice. So it was suggested that we would build or would make a, a pond there for them or a little lake and then they could use that supplement the water to be able to feed the rest of the rice that was a, a marvelous 
investment again. Again, as I said, it, it, it cost 30,000 baht to construct the lake and many things that grow their own fish now. They've always already got the water supply there for all the time that can grow various crops that are more water dependent and therefore more valuable. So having that little bit of water makes a huge difference. They've got another lake at the end of the, at the, end of the field. So they, they sort of never run out of water to be able to water the crops all the time, even during the, the dry season, which is very, very important. Um, we did that also, they've got another parcel of land uh, about five minutes drive away from where we live and we, we built another lake there for exactly the same reason so they could grow more water dependent crops which gives a greater return of money when they, they sell to the market. Now Ploy's mum and dad are very 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 hard working, they don't drink, don't smoke, don't gamble, don't do nothing, they don't owe a single penny for the house or the land and that, they are two of Thailand's most hard working people that I've ever met and they live very very modestly in their means and the way they live and so we helped them out a little bit and by being able to do that again they grow more fish there more water dependent crops so this is the type of things that I've done over the past five years and in total cost I think with everything that I've done it probably comes to about a hundred thousand baht over five years so 100,000 baht for it to about oh, two and a half thousand pounds spread over five years. That's not an awful lot to pay, but the improvement in lifestyle and standards is immeasurable. And so for not a lot of money, you can do a lot of good over here by being able to spend the money wisely. So that was just a little video about me living in my wife's house here in Karat. And until the next video, from Les Living the Dream in Thailand, Bye for now.